fellas the name's Rick Del Hagen, and I came to report a little update, a little physique, freak, physique, feeling a little meek, time to seek some bigger gains, seek a better physique, do you understand what I'm saying, seek with my own two eyes, now here's the thing fellas, we all want to make massive transformations, you know what I'm saying, right, you know, you want to put 20 pounds of jack stack dense, muscular, freaking fibular tissue on, right? But then you do that, and it's like, man, in my eyes, I don't look much different, okay? And why is that? Well, ultimately, guys, it's because, you know, we see ourselves every single day, right? But then also, you know, for the most part, you're walking around with shirts on and stuff, you know, shorts, right? You know, you're clothed. So things that make a big difference that people don't seem to really grasp, right? And this is not revolutionary. Plenty of people have talked about this, but it's just hit me like a ton of freaking bricks is that every, you know, listen, and I'll give you a little update on how I've been training. And listen, you know, I got a, I got a lot of freaking truth bombs I got to drop real fast. You know, I love when I upload videos, you know what I mean? And I start getting the, uh, you know, I get the haterade, you know, I get these freaking succulent tastes of haterade out of nowhere. And that tells me that ultimately, the, a video I've done has, you know, in a sense, a very small sense, gone a little viral, right? It's gone outside of the rat's nest, outside of the snake's pit, you know what I mean? Uh, it, unto uncharted territories where there's individuals that don't, you know, no sticky wicky, you know what I'm talking about. And I've been getting a lot of comments on certain videos, right? You know, I had a couple of videos that did really well recently, Uh and people are like, well, damn, you know, this guy's, you know, he's big, but he'll you know, spend some time working your legs. And it's like, damn, I mean, guys, I freaking ruptured my patellar tendon in three places, okay? Right, here's, here's, here's the tendon, right? Here's the bone, here's another attachment of the bone. It ripped off the bone, ripped off the bone, and then totally ripped in half. So it's, it was the worst ten, it was the worst tendon tear that possibly could have imagined, right? It's freaking boggled science's mind. Because, you know, how the frick do you have, uh, you know, how the frick, do you, let's, you know, you have this freaking tendon. How do you have this freaking tendon? How does it rip off a bone, but already ripped off that bone? How does it rip off this bone? And when it ripped off that bone, how does the thing rip in half on top of that, right? So that's beyond the point. But guys, I'm three months deep into recovery, and I think I'm kicking ass, right? Listen, I'm not tooting my own horn, and I know this doesn't mean much. But I just deadlifted in PT 275 for an easy set of eight, right? Listen, I know it's not, I know it's not impressive weights, but I'm just saying, considering the fact that, you know, a couple months ago I couldn't walk and then I got off those and I couldn't bend my knee at all, right? You know, for the second month. And now here we are, you know, we're starting to, you know, pick up some freaking weights. So the chicken legs, you know, we're going to train these suckers once I have the, the freaking knee flexion back. But my God, I mean, this tendon was as mutilated as one could be, all right? So a pretty freaking serious injury to recover from. But we're getting there. But that's not even the point. The point is, because I could only train my legs in PT, right? Because I don't, you know, my, my mind is too strong. Like, I'm going to push it too much and I'm going to end up tearing something, you know, if I'm recovering, if I'm training my legs on my own. So I don't do it. I don't even, I don't even touch it. I just... You know, a normal folk with a normal mindset tells me what to do, basically. It's like, all right, set of eight, you know? What do you want to start with, 95 pounds? I'm like, well, okay, 95 pounds, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what do you want to start with on this leg extension? Zero pounds? It's like, all right, zero pounds it is. But what do you want to do for these RDLs? You know, 20-pound dumbbells? It's like, okay, 20-pound dumbbells. So that's, what, that's my circumstances right now because the freaking brain is too powerful for the tendon as of right now. So I don't touch, I don't touch lower body on my own. But what I do do is upper body every single day on my own, no days off ever, right? And if you want to get a little bit deeper down the rabbit's hole, what I do with upper body every single day, no days off ever, is I train my shoulders every single day, no days off. Uh, one of the juicy tidbits I gave you guys the other um, couple of weeks ago was doing uh, 100 reps of the laterals, right? And I'm not talking, this is not going to, you know, give you giant cap deltoids, you know, it's not going to replace military pressing or behind the neck pressing or seated overhead pressing or you know any of that kind of stuff or even heavy dumbbell lateral raises you know what I mean or or up uh, dumbbell upright rows or you know uh camber bar upright rows or 
any of that kind of stuff. You know, I do a million shoulder things because I just do a million things right now because I have to train that way. I can't do, you know, just heavy compound lifts as of right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, and you know, I'm, the, the, the freaking delts are getting stacked, but you know, what's not getting stacked is stuff. I'm not working. And does that, I mean, boggles your mind, right? Boggles your mind, right? So I guess my point here, fellas, is I'm going to start training my neck, right? And we're going to start here with the beginner's measurement so that we can make this, you know, as juicy as possible. Let's see. So, shoot, it's like suffocating me. I can't like, flex my neck. Uh, so it's like 20 and a half, close to 21 inches. Yeah, 21 inches. 20 and a half, 20 and a half, 21, 21, 20 and a half, 20 and a half, 21. Woo! No neck training, right? Suffocating myself with that carotid artery cut off. No blood to the brain right now. Uh, I'm going to start doing that, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to start doing every single day. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do that as well. All right? So I'm going to be a cookie cutter now, and I'm going to edit. All right, so there's a lot of these gimmicky neck contraptions. Lord knows I've owned a couple throughout my tenure of strength and conditioning, uh, pursuance of succulents and density. Uh, and I, I always hated them. I thought they were stupid for the most part, really stupid. You have the neck one with the chain that, you know what I mean, you should be doing this. It's like, okay, that's okay. But like, what else can I do, right? And then they came out that freaking like uh, Mortal Kombat Raiden hat, the band attachment that you turn side to side. That's like, you know, 100 freaking 200 bucks or something insane. I think it's called like the Iron Neck or something like that. And uh, listen, I'm not knocking the product. I'm sure the product's fantastic. Um, but it's frick, it's not necessary. It's not freaking necessary. All right, so I'm going to show you what I, I've been messing around with this uh, ever since I said, you know what, frick, man. You know, I, I'm trying so hard to get jack juicy uh, deltoids and, you know, trapezius, but not freaking focusing on the girthy, thick, stout shaft that holds the brain in the skull. You know what I'm saying? The freaking, the freaking, um, um, bulbous, thick, girthy, freaking uh, um, shaft. You know what I'm saying? So here's the thing. I'm going to use this resistance band. You can hook up to anything. You don't want to put that. You're gonna, it's going to rip your hair out. So basically, all you need to do is put anything. So this is just a freaking crappy T-shirt, right? You know, obviously, you can use a winter hat or anything. I just couldn't find one at the moment. I live in the sweltering heat of Florida, so I don't, you know, I don't have too many winter hats just laying around. Um, okay, and just freaking put this thing on the back of your head, right? And I'm gonna do this just so I can see it, folks. Okay, now check this out. Oh yeah. Okay. Now listen, I wrestled for like half my life, right? Over half my life. What is that? Over yeah. Anyways, I wrestled. For a lot and there was no neck pump like college wrestling it was insane because guys were really good at locking up and pulling with their entire body weight so everyone had a freaking stout jacked neck right and nobody was doing these stupid meme neck bridges and stuff that stuff's garbage now basically what you're doing as a wrestler you know you're in your stance people are pulling on your head right and you're keeping a short neck right so that they can't pull your freaking gooseneck down. If you have a long pencil gooseneck, they're going to be able to snap you down. So you got to keep your traps shrugged and pull your head down, right? And you're keeping your, your head and neck compact, right? Now, when they're pulling, you're not just, they're not just pulling straight, right? They're pulling side to side. So basically with this tension, you kind of turn your head a little bit. Turn your head. This shirt is awful. Turn your head, right? Turn your head. Turn your head. This is just blinding me. I couldn't have put this on any worse for this video, right? Turn your head while I have constant tension against me. Now, the thing is, oh my God, it's already burning like hell. Now, the thing is, when you're wrestling, right, you're not just getting your neck pulled, right? You're also hand fighting too. So then that got me thinking, well, hey, doing lateral raises works your traps like crazy as well. What if I work my neck while I work my delts and my traps? 
So now I can just do laterals here as I got this constant tension on my neck. And I know it seems like a meme, but oh my God. First of all, oh my God. Oh my God. My neck is freaking cooked. Rubber neck, right? Rubber goose neck right now, right? So, you know, it's not just, it can't just be about cosmetics though as well. I mean, obviously guys, it's having a succulent, thick and juicy neck is awesome. But, you know, you should, also if you ever get in like a car accident or anything, like uh, anything, you fall on your head, like you, you could die, right? So you want your neck to be jacked so that if anything happens, you're protected, right? Protect your neck. You know what I'm saying? So I guess with that being said, I'm going to start trying to train my neck every single day. And uh, I, obviously, I'm sure you guys don't care. It's for my own satisfaction to see if it puts any girth on it. The width of this phallus shaft connecting your freaking head. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's all fellas. I mean, just throw that out there because listen, for the longest time I was like, maybe I should work my neck. Right. But it's like, ah, who cares? But then also at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, say you're like, you know, you're, you're pressing, right. Or you're bench pressing or you're deadlifting or like you're rowing or anything like your neck is involved in all these movements. Like, you don't think about it, but like when you bench press, you're driving your head against the bench. It's hard. You want to contract every single muscle fiber as hard as possible. The, your radiation theory, right? The harder you fire the muscle groups around the main muscle group you're firing or you're targeting, the harder that muscle group's going to fire, right? So if your freaking neck can fire and is stronger more than like your traps and your back and your shoulders and your pressing of your chest, these are all surrounding muscle groups. Theoretically, they should all be strengthened as well, right? So there's really no reason not to train it. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess what more is there to say, fellas? You know what I'm saying? Get freaking stacked. <coughs> Get like a 75-inch neck. That's the goal.